hello this is Ni Hamuda and welcome to my youtube channel please kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i post tutorials like this in this tutorial i'm going to teach you how to get this mock-up and how you can edit it like this so to get this mock-up it's very simple you will find it the link in the description of this video you will get it all right so i'll leave a link you can download this mock-up online just go to free pick or um there are some websites i will drop a, a video the link to a video you can check it and you'll see how to download or where to download mockups like this this is a roll-up banner mockup just a roll-up banner mockup and then you download it. the link is will be dropped in the description of this video so let's go over to the website we'll be using photopia photopia okay so we'll open the app okay so now We'll then go over to file, then click on open. Now we're going to get the PSD file which I've already downloaded and I've leave I've left a link in the description of this video so you can download it. Now we'll go over to where it is located in your device. So mine is here. I've located mine. This is it. Now you have to wait for a little time for it to load. It usually won't take so much time if you have good internet connection so it will connect and then your psd file will be open in photopian.com before this you have to get your design ready so why it's opening let me show you the design that we're going to put on a mock-up so you're going to design it look at the design here i use seven by three it was seven feet by three feet but in pixel this is it it's going to be the width is going to be 3456 the height 8064 okay this is the design i'm going to be putting on that mock-up there so let's check by now it was have opened okay it's not open yet so you will do your design finish it on pixel app something like this so when you are done with the design on pixel app that is where you will now save it and then go over to photopia and then you would do the editing of the psd file to add your own file to it i have other two videos or oh sorry other three videos on how to use photopia for other purposes you can check the link to this in this um, of this video you will see them so you click on layer okay click on layers you will see the options there guide guide at the right tops these right tops right here the one here these and these they are the guide so take notes let us remove the guide remove the guide just click on the eye you can see a eye, eye icon here click on it once and the the guide will be removed but when you click on it you have to wait for it to load because sometimes when you click on it it may not respond immediately so wait for it to load okay so now it's loading just wait be patient for it to load it's going to load when it finished loading then we can continue okay so this is photopia it's a very simple app to use so wait it's loading it's loading it will load very soon so this is the design take note of the size that i use which is you can get the size from the design inside photo appear but let us wait for it to load i think it is let's see okay it's still loading it's still loading let us wait for it uh network it's, it's loading it will soon be loaded let's just wait a little more patience um so so our design will be done with pixel app 
you can use canva you can use Corel draw you can use any application or software you want to use take your dimension in pixel which is this one i'm using right here and then um you are good to go uh, this this guy should open now um i don't know why it's taking so much time to load we may have to reload it again it's taking so much time we may have to reload it again okay so in order to save time let us reload it again i think it's having network issue here so let me see if we can reload the page It's taking so much time to load. Oh Jesus. Okay, it's open. Okay, oh, oh, oh. Just Okay, I think it's Okay, I think it's open now. Oh my god. So, no problem. We have to start out afresh again. There was network uh niche so let's open it again so I'm sorry for that before you open your photopia make sure you have saved your design in pixel lab save your design ac according to your size right here and then let's go over here so let's wait for it it's loading let's be patient This is taking so much time like I said it's because of the network okay it's open now so let's go click on the layer there you can see why I clicked layer then um, open the mock-up go to where you have banner design which is here then you will see the right banner and the left banner now where you have the right banner the right banner is the front banner double click that um you will see a circle this circle right here you can see it you will see a circle uh, sorry that's a circle a square a square very small square very close here now double click on the square yeah when you double click on the square to open like this so this is the mock-up all right now this is what we're going to place our design now click on this um, text t-e-k-s takes click on the i button it will close the design then also now where you have this yellow background double click on it twice now then use your arm to choose the white color at the extreme end for me I, I'm choosing the white color because the design I'm going to I'm going to be bringing have a white background, so I want it to blend. That's why I'm choosing that color. Then this rectangular what, something there, you can see that's what you have here. This one here. So I want to remove it. Click the eye icon to remove it. Then the text, these two texts, click on it. Then it has been removed. So this is what we have now. Then we'll click over here go to open and place go to your file and locate your design so i'm going to get my design the design I'm, I'm going to be using so i'm going to get it now i've already saved it in pixel lab okay so i'll go over there and then i'll pick the design which is this one right here so you wait for it to load and it's loaded now you can see that it didn't enter very well so you have to drag it according so your okay so 
and make sure that it's well placed. So adjust it, okay? Adjust it. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think it's it's adjusted now. All right? So we can go over to file and click on save smart objects. Click on it just once. Save smart objects as soon as you click on it wait it will load it will load and save your mock-up your design as a mock-up so wait for it it's loading you see smart object updated now it's saved now now that it's saved you can go over to where you have uh, this guy here you can see why i click here this is the other layer the original design this is it yeah just click on it once and wait for it it is loading it may look as if it's not is working but it's loading just click on this right here once you can see where my finger is touching where you have those numbers click on it that is the, that is the original layer click on it and wait it's going to load the mock-up now so i'm waiting for it to load okay it's going to take a little time because this is a smartphone okay if you are using a phone of um, 8 gig ram it may be faster mine is 6 gig ram so you see it's loaded our design is loaded you can see now now what are we going to do the next thing we're going to do right now is oh this thing still loading oh god um okay it's taking so much time but it's loaded it's loaded you can see that this design now we have now made it to become a mock-up just like you can see on the screen we are waiting for it to load the next step is to save okay it's loaded now the next step is to save so we'll, we are going back to where we have this guy here the layer and then where we have the guide we'll click the eye icon so that the, the guide can disappear all right so when the guide disappear you will have only the mock-up so it's still loading wait for it to load so those guides they are the instructions you have at the bottom of the mock-up they will have to go out so that you can have just the mock-up and if you want to have only the mock-up so that you can use it for your own design that means you have to go right here where you have background color no, sorry what you have um i think it's not this part let's wait for it it is loading oh uh, it's loading it's still loading i'm sorry it's taking um so much time i didn't want it to stay too much time if not for the network so we are waiting okay it's going to be loaded okay now you can see it has worked now so the guide has been removed check you can see those right up around this area have been removed so we have only the mock-up so if you want to do only this mock-up you want to save only this mock-up no problem but me i don't like to save the, this background i like to remove the background color i click on here the uh, eye icon so that the background color can leave you get so when the background color leave it's going to the mock-up is going to be with a transparent background so that i can pick it and use it for my design without any disturbance so it's going to remove the background color right now so let's wait for it to load i'm sorry it's taking so much time but after this would we'll save the mock-up i wish is the roll-up banner uh, stand with our design we'll save it as a png file in our in our phone so that's like this you can see that it's ready 
So now there's no background. We can go over to where we have files and then go to export as and then PNG. When we click on PNG, leave it to load. It's going to load and our file will be ready as a PNG file, which is in PNG format. Okay, so then we can begin to use it for our design. Anywhere you want to use it, you can easily pick it and then this is it. So click on save and that's all. It will begin to download. So I want to download it again. I've downloaded it before. So you can see that it's downloading now. It is downloaded. Our job is done. So go to Pizza Lab, click on this right here, and then click on this right here. Assuming you want to create a new stuff, go over here, click on gallery, and then pick the mock-up which you just saved, and it's going to come with our background like this, like this. Alright, so you put it on your design, go to Pizza Lab, get your background and use the color to pick the background of the design the major background the yellow and then you can go ahead and put design by your name all right so i think this is going to be the end of this tutorial thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe the links to the other videos please watch them you will also learn from it i remain your your own ni amuda I'll see you in the next video.